Welcome back uh, to the fish room and in today's video I will replace this uh, plastic container that I've been using for almost two years with a custom made aquarium that is 84 liters or 22 US gallons in volume. Currently I have some sparkling gourami and chili rasbora, no plants. The filter is cycled and almost two years old. After I remove the container, I'm going to put the custom uh, made aquarium inside and the plan is to keep the adult fish that I'm planning to sell. But for now, at the end of this video, we'll add some uh, rainbow shiner fry that are getting too big for their uh, grow out aquarium. The, the aquarium I'm going to make is going to be very simple with just thin layer of the substrate, couple of terracotta pots with plants. I'm just going to wash the filter that is already in use, that is cycled for almost two years. The light is above the aquarium and that's all. So let me stop talking and let's get to work. aquarium has been placed in its position as I said before it is a custom made aquarium dimensions are 70 centimeters long 40 centimeters wide and 30 centimeters is the height the volume is approximately 84 liters or 22 gallons the next step is to add very thin layer of JBL Monado it is a black uh, substrate and it is inactive and the reason I'm going to add it it has a very porous structure so it is uh, good for growing beneficial bacteria I'm not uh, planning to keep any bottom dwelling fish like Corridoras for now I will just add some rainbow shiners and later on I will see. I will not keep uh, rainbow shiners here when they grow up because this aquarium is small for them. 
and after adding the substrate I'm going, I'm going to place a couple of terracotta pots with simple plants and the filter that is already cycled. The aquarium is ready. The only thing that is missing is adding the plants and the fish. I will order plants in a couple of days, so in the meantime I'm going to add the rainbow shiner fry you see in these two aquariums. The one on the left and the one on the right. Approximately the fry is 8 weeks old and 10 weeks old and they are getting uh, big for their fry grow out aquarium so I'm going to move them down if I had to guess I would say approximately there is 50 of them but now when I remove them I will count them and I will know the exact number This aquarium has uh, finally been completed for the plants I decided to go with a couple of types of uh, crypts the reason is they are very easy going and low maintenance so I don't need to do a lot of trimming just a couple of root tubs maybe two, two times a year and in couple of months they will uh, grow also I can reuse them in uh, my aquascapes so I don't need to buy crypts anymore as I said 
these are the rainbow shiners fry as soon as they get bigger I will move them to a bigger aquarium this is my last uh, plastic container that I have in the fish room and uh, I'm planning to keep it as a quarantine aquarium I'm just going to remove the fish currently I have some sword tails silver tip tetra and spartan guramis I'm going to move them from there I'm going to remove all the soil because I will keep it bare bottom I will keep the filter and the heater and I'm just going to clean the plastic I don't think I'll be able to remove all the algae because uh, it is made of plastic so it's much harder to clean than the glass but uh, as a quarantine aquarium it's going to be fine The quarantine aquarium has been cleaned, so now I'm actually able to see what is happening inside. Also, I added the uh, guppy grass and the ram's horn snails that will uh, keep the bottom clear of any extra food. In a couple of weeks, I will add the new fish to this uh, quarantine aquarium. And that's it for this uh, video. See you in the next one.